All right, what is up you guys? As always, welcome back to the Uber's game. I do need stealth rocks, but I want to keep myself you no know, sturdy. Did I see a stealth rocker? I don't think I did. Let's see, starts off with a very gent RDQ, right? That's that's a Discord. <laughs> ah, whoops. Anyway, that said, free free evil switch. Though it's you no know, Articuna has a very high special defense, so I probably only do that much anyway. See? Oof. That's some solid damage, though. That's some solid damage. Um, now, my options into this aren't the best. I have a very strong switch in, in Lorelei, and it's pretty freaking thick fat. That's going to probably just negate any ice beam damage ever made on this. Ah, it's just wonderful. Look at that. And I have no bulk investment whatsoever. Uh, the thing with um, Jugong that actually, while I was creating my team, was that it has very, very solid bulk. It just, it miss special, like it miss offensive presence, but I want to use its stab to have an offensive presence. Uh, and of course, as an ice type, it really doesn't. Uh, wow. As an ice type, it just kind of struggles to. Um, a bulky ice type with no recovery is basically a worst Ava lug nine times out of ten, anyway. Um, yeah, I, I just like to reposition myself. I think that's the way to go. If anybody wonders. Because no matter what I do. I gotta adjust from you too. So that's not great. And getting that free strike damage was definitely not great either. So if I bring Bloodroot, I'm facing off against a Mewtwo. If I'm sending Kotal, I win probably every matchup, I think, besides Blastoise, which I don't fear because of explosion. And because of sturdy. Because of sturdy is probably my saving grace here for getting a reverse sweep by a Blastoise, but... Scissor. That's the wrong mon, guy. That's the wrong mon. Still though, I have the option to go for an Earthquake anyway. Hope he gets greedy and gets goes for a Soul Sense, right? It's not the worst scenario. You can definitely do far worse. Goes for a Bullet Punch. Didn't even bring me down too sturdy. Earthquake will do... Just run half. That's not bad. Fortunately, unfortunately for me, I wanted a lot more damage. Probably gonna keep bullet punishing, so I'm hoping for um, effect pull. He should have sourced that. Like, if he had the option, he definitely should have done that, right? That's some poor ass damage. I can easily take two of those, so just go for sleep powder here. More towards the switching though. And if it recovers, so be it. Here, Lace. What? What? Fine. That was weird. Hopefully, I can take a bullet punch. Here, Lace. Who? <laughs> Who has your lace? Yeah, Thunderbolting. Come on, take this, buddy. Yes! <laughs> I might not look it, but I got some defense investment in me. <laughs> not for this guy, but it worked still all the same. And now I need to kind of reconsider what to do, because... Mewtwo probably just beats me. However, Dragonite probably will not. Though he has extreme speed, right? I'm going off chance that he's just going to go for that. Didn't. Goes for Dragon Dance. Alright. I like keeping him alive. We didn't get him that low. 
But Kotal dies to everything. Phenomax does not, but I don't want to lose like its defensive capabilities. If it's adamant, Lorelei beats it. Kotal is useless for this battle anyway. Or not useless, that would be kind of a reach in bed. He's not going to do wonders for me. He had E-Speed, so... <laughs> um, so I'm saving Kotal right now. <laughs> Got some Custa, baby. <laughs> Alright, smack me. <laughs> Whatever. Um... So... Earthquake, E-Speed... Well, then I can probably send in Phenomax anyway. Bullet Punch won't kill. But I'm pretty sure an Earthquake combined with E-Speed won't kill me either. I just, I want to use my Golem to, to maximum efficiency, as one say. Yeah, it just wasn't in range really. But Earthquake, like I said, will not do, it will do a lot, but it won't bring me like down. So I'm, I'm not too worried there. Question is whether or not, like, will he maximize with an extreme speed? I could ruse in his face on his last ditch effort, but yeah, I might actually screw myself over if I do that and he goes for an earthquake and I'll speed me. Too big of a risk. I knew to play, but it was too big of a risk. It would be nice being in a much better position versus this, though. That said, if I can get Mewtwo in now, I think I am in a solid position. We actually have a genuine, like, Wi-Fi battle here. Even though I have Ubers to deal with, Gengars included, I, I still feel, um, I got some options. Even though I think when Mewtwo comes in, that's a, that, like, that's it. Oh, Salivans, come on, I gotta do something with that. He's thinking. That's great. Siege tank. Oh, yeah. Haven't forgotten about it, I swear. He has Mewtwo, Gengar, and this guy left. Let's see. Goes for Hydro Pump. That sucks. Did I have a switch in for that? I guess I had. I mean, I don't want to stay in an Ice Beam. I can't hurt it. Maybe I'm not doing all right anyway. <laughs> Why did I forget about the blaster? It seems like a wasted opportunity of doing so. That said, explosion should do something. Really hope um, he doesn't go for a shell smash here. Come on, buddy. I did solid. I like that. And he will do. Ice Beam. Bro. Bro! You're so done. But he had Ice Beam, so I kind of have to reposition myself. Though, I'm going to lock myself into Surf. I think I'll do alright. And then I'm going to bank everything on the Salamence. So it's not a solid time, but I'll take it. <laughs> Goodbye, Siege Tank. You're just gonna throw you guys this though. In, in like I said, Dugong is kind of special defensive. I mean, it's not the bulkiest gear around, but it has good defenses that I haven't brought up upon. If I'm able to live on Aura Sphere, which seems highly unlikely, but then I might actually not be able to win this at all. Wow, that's a bulky. Oh no! 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 no. That's not right. I gotta hope on greed now then. I am a tree at KO. Damn, Dugong, you're not fat. Thunderbolt, ah, it's, it's nasty. Shame! Shame! It also means, like, I gotta hope that he goes for an Ice Beam for some reason and pop my Joshua Berry. Because I probably can take that after Dragon Dance. Come on, buddy. Ah, Side Strike. Shame! 
Shame. Well, GG's my opponent. I mean, what could I have done there? Probably sacked Salamence instead, I guess. That's it, guys. Always thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this game. I should definitely have Dragon Dance on that last story. So I had freaking Yasha, but what I was thinking. No matter. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care, everyone, right?